What is an electrical installation? You may need electrical work done, but you could find yourself wondering. What exactly is an electrical installation? What are my electrical installation requirements? Who should I be choosing to undertake these works? The process can seem intimidating to people who have never received any electrical training or have little electrical knowledge. In essence, as defined by the English dictionary, an installation is a place that contains equipment and machinery which are being used for a particular purpose. Therefore, an electrical installation is the combination of electrical equipment installed from a common electrical supply to fulfill a particular purpose. The correct installation of electrical equipment is essential to the reliability and safety of electricity to power your business, office, or home. Electrical installation requirements. There are several components that are assembled to make up your electrical installation. These components include Electricity meters You might think that an electrical installation starts in your business office or home, but it actually starts on the streets. The meter tallies how much electrical load is run to your home or office. Sometimes, a load center is also identified as a meter. Line pole a line pole is necessary to run the electricity from the power that is run through the meter to your office or home. Older lines are usually found running above ground. Newer, more modern systems will have the lines running underground. Circuit breakers A circuit breaker box is located in your home or office and will break up the electricity into different circuits that will run throughout your building. Electrical wiring the wirings consist of the electrical cables and circuits that run from the breakers to the outlets. These wires can be installed in various different configurations depending on the expected usage and flexibility required. Fixtures, lights, and appliances. All of the outlets, lighting fixtures, and appliances that receive electrical energy are also considered to be a part of the electrical installation. How an electrical installation works. The above five components then work in the following way. A transmission source or power source of the electricity will run electricity through the meter. The meter will track the amount of power your office or home utilizes. Once the power enters the building, it will go to the circuit breaker box. The circuit breaker box is responsible for breaking up the electricity into different circuits that then run through different parts of your home. Once the power is broken up, it is directed to different outlets, lights, and appliances throughout your building. So, the basic components of your electrical installation are the meter, breaker panel, circuits, and wires. Therefore all of these elements should be designed and installed by a fully qualified electrician. Furthermore, any of these components could need repair or maintenance by a professionally trained electrician. What are the requirements for maintenance or repairs? If your electrical installation looks worn or sloppy, it could be in need of maintenance or repair. There are some things that you can look out for to determine if you require a professional electrician to look at the electrical installation in your home or office. These signs include Scorch marks Even if there wasn't a fire, if you see scorch marks around any electrical boards, they could be dangerous. Therefore you will want to call a competent electrician to check out your electrical installation odd noises coming from machines. If you hear odd noises coming from your electrical system or appliances, the damage could have occurred. Subsequently, it could be a hazard. Call the professional electrician as soon as possible to check on your electrical system. Burnt smells or odors. If you smell anything burning, there could be an issue with your wires, thus leading to danger to your building. In addition, it could even possibly lead to a fire. Again, you will want to call a qualified electrician to check out your electrical wires. Overheating appliances. This could be an issue with the appliance or with your electrical system. To be safe, call a professional electrician to investigate any issues with your electrical installation. Flickering lights. Often flickering lights have to do with the unit. However, if not, it could also be a wiring issue. In this case, you want to make sure you have an experienced electrician to investigate any potential problems with your electrical installation. Finding water around electrical components. Water can do a great deal of damage to electrical installations. If you find water around electrical fittings, such as outlets or the circuit breaker, you will want to have it checked out immediately as it can be a hazard. Call a certified electrician to come to look at the issue as soon as possible. 
electrical installation requirements and any ongoing maintenance and repairs should always be undertaken by a qualified electrician. Therefore, our professionals can help make sure your electrical installation is safe and well repaired. If you have any issues, do not hesitate to call us. Are there different types of electrical installation requirements? There are actually two main types of electrical installations, residential and commercial. Therefore, it's important to understand the difference between these two types of electrical installations. Furthermore, you will want to understand the difference so that you can hire the right professional to complete your electrical work. 1. Residential electrical installations. Residential electrical installations are done in private residences, such as your home. A residential electrical installation will generally deal with circuit breakers, wall outlets, and major household appliances such as washing machines and dishwashers. You will want to hire an electrician well-versed in residential electrical work to take care of your projects. 2. Commercial electrical installations. Commercial electrical installations generally involve larger scale buildings such as office buildings, shopping malls, factories, and corporate campuses. A commercial electrical installation is much more complex than a residential job. It will require more power and specific components. You will want to hire an electrician with experience doing commercial installations to make sure the job is done right. Why should I hire a professional? Electrical work can be dangerous. Therefore, you will always want to hire an experienced electrician to do your electrical installation for both residential and commercial work. There are many reasons to hire a professional electrician including Doing electrical work without the proper knowledge and training can be very dangerous. Our electricians are well trained with years of experience to make sure the job gets done right. Electrical installations can often require permits. A licensed professional will make sure that the job meets any official requirements, and the work often comes with a warranty. Cost effective. DIY electrical work can often cost you more in the long run due to issues that can arise and a need for constant repairs. Therefore, hiring a professional to begin with will save you time and money in the long run. For all your electrical, lighting, testing, and associated cabling requirements, for a free survey, contact us on the details above.